Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We leave for our trip to London in two days and we have been gone all weekend and so our house is a mess. All of our laundry needs to be done. We need to organize literally everything in the house so we can come back to a clean house. All of our dishes are dirty. We have absolutely no food in the house. Like we are just not prepared at all for our trip. So we need to work on the laundry. My closet is like such a mess and I have no idea what I'm gonna wear on our trip. So that's also on the agenda today. I need to look through my closet and figure out outfits because we are going to be going to London where it's gonna be cold and we are only bringing a carry-on bag. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to fit in a freaking carry-on bag for winter clothes. We're gonna be there for a week too. So I need to bring things that I can wear and then like rewear. But I need to make sure all of my outfits are like pre-planned. So then when I get there, I'm not like, oh my gosh, what do I wear? None of this looks good together. I kind of need to have maybe like three or four outfits that look good and then I'll just wear them twice each. Yeah, I think that would be good. But I'm so excited to go on our trip. Part of the time we're there, we're gonna be visiting some family that Cody has there. His great grandma moved to the US. All of her sister's side of the family stayed. And I'm really excited to meet everyone. I just got back from the downtown by us and I got a couple gifts. Let me go grab them so I can show you. Okay, here's the bag. One of the people that we're gonna be visiting, we know that he really likes soccer. And so now that we have an MLS team in St. Louis, we got him a St. Louis City soccer scarf, which I think is just so cute, perfect. And then his wife, we wanted to get her something as well. So we got her a little coffee mug, got her this, and then I also got his great aunt. I got her this little dish towel that has like the downtown St. Charles area on it. And I think that's just really cute. So, so just a little bit of like Missouri stuff to show like where we come from, you know, just a cute little like thank you gifts for letting us come visit and showing us around. Let me put them all in here so I don't lose them. But, Anyway, so I think this vlog is probably just gonna be like packing and prep for our trip. And then I'll make a separate one of us actually traveling there and everything. But actually, I don't even know if I'm gonna be packing in this vlog. I think I'm just gonna be like preparing, like getting the house ready, maybe picking out some outfits. And then we will just see how it goes. I might put also packing in this vlog as well, but let's go ahead and clean up the house a little bit because we first need to do that before we like even try to attempt packing. We're just gonna get in this in a couple hours anyway, so that's good. So we're going from Wednesday to Wednesday. So we're flying out Wednesday night here from St. Louis we fly to Newark and then we fly from Newark to London. And I think it's like a seven hour flight there, so it's not bad. We are flying economy, so we're both gonna take melatonin with us and take it when we get onto that flight. So hopefully we can just like knock out and sleep for the whole trip. But it is a red eye, so we are going to be getting into London at like 10 or 11 their time. So we're, I really wanna try to sleep the whole time we're on the flight. So then when we get there, we're ready to go for the day. And I mapped out a couple of the things that are like close to our hotel for that day. So we don't have to do too much walking. I mean, it's still gonna be a lot of walking, but it's not gonna be like miles and miles away. We're just gonna kind of stay in that area and explore for the day. And then the next day we can like walk and see the far thing. snacks with you in the airport like you can bring food in through TSA and I always forget that for some reason I don't know why so I went to Dollar Tree the other day and I got us some little snacks like I got us some popcorn some cheese it I got us some like dry nuts and stuff just so we would have things to snack on I know that they will serve us dinner on the way there and I think on the way back our flights like during the day so they will serve us lunch but I don't wanna to have to buy other snacks at the airport. Stuff's just so expensive. So I went to Dollar Tree and I got all of this and I think it was like $8. And you know that if I went to the airport right now and I bought this, it would be like six. So we are coming prepared for this trip. Ah, I think I just broke 
the dishwasher. Oh my god. What is happening? Okay, that just snapped back in. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, just remember that I have Diet Coke in the fridge. I'm about to pour out a crisp Diet Coke to help me get it through the afternoon. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea where that ice cube went. I'm probably gonna have a huge like wet spot on the floor later. Whoops. Yummy. This is gonna be perfect. I just finished unloading the dishwasher. I'm gonna load the dishwasher with everything that's in the sink. And then I'm probably gonna iron Cody's work shirts because I have a few of those that came out of the laundry. And yeah, that's the game plan for like the next 30 minutes. <laughs> Guys, I'm in shambles. What is happening? I think I'm just, I think I'm just so excited for my trip that like I'm anxious about getting everything done. And now I'm in shambles. I need to chill. Now that I've done all the like household tours, let's go through the closet and see what outfits like I definitely want to take with. Okay, so I, I'm thinking I want to take like a black sweater and a white sweater just so I have those with me. But I also have some boots that I got. Here, let me show you. Okay, so I know that I want to take a black sweater and a white sweater just to have like some basics. But I don't know what shoes because I know I'm going to take tennis shoes, but I have either these black boots that I got the other day or I have these white boots or they're not really white. They're more like cream, but I've got this black sweater that I wore today that I could take, but I feel like this outfit, I don't know. I guess it looks fine, but I also have another black sweater. Let me try that one on. And then I also have like this sweater. I guess I didn't realize that it showed so much skin in between. So like you can see my bra. But this sweater might actually look better with my other jeans. I don't know. I do like this sweater though. It's super soft and like super warm. So that would be good to walk in. I just have so many sweaters. Let me try my white one on. And then I also have this sweater. I definitely think I'm gonna take this one because it's white, so it's a little bit different than the rest. But then I also have these black shoes. And then I think that this would look fine with just tennis shoes. So, I think this is definitely gonna be a pack sweater. I feel like it's very versatile. Actually, let me try this on with my coat. Okay, so my coat's gray. I feel like that'll just match with everything. But like, how does this look? What do we think? Yay? I'm so bad with fashion. I seriously, I need to hire someone and pick out a whole wardrobe for me and then just tell me what to wear. Like, I'm horrible at it. Sorry, this is really dusty. Anyway. Guys, I need help. I'm gonna be honest. I think I might put this off until Cody's home and all my clothes are clean so he can help me because I'm terrible at this. Okay, I completely forgot that I had this turtleneck in my closet, and I think I'm in love. It is so soft. I ordered it on, I ordered it on Amazon. Someone on TikTok convinced me that it was a Skims dupe, and I ordered it, and I completely forgot about it. So, I think I'm going to have these tennis shoes and maybe just, like, wear this as a chill fit one day. I don't know. Kind of obsessed. Also, this is just the pile of what's going on here. 
I still have no clue what I'm doing. Those are my things I'm taking. And all of this is things that I don't know what's going on with. So, yeah, that's how it's going over here. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I am currently in the Target parking lot because we need to get a couple things to get us through today and tomorrow. We have everything for breakfast, for dinner, except for eggs and waffles. So we're gonna get that. I also need some nail polish so I can paint my toenails. And I need to grab cash back for Cody because he's getting a haircut tonight and he needs cash for that. So I need to make sure to remember to grab cash back. And then there was something else on my list. I can't remember. I don't know. I can't remember. I have the list on my phone. So let's go to Target. All right, I'm out of Target now. I forget how crazy stores get around the holidays. Like everyone's in there running around looking for whatever they're looking for and just have no, they just have no awareness of their surroundings. It's crazy. Anyway, the line was super long, but we finally made it out. I got, I got the Target brand waffles for our dinner tonight. And then I grabbed this for my lunch. It's like an unwrapped burrito thing. I've had these before. I used to eat them all the time when I was on night shift and they're so good. So I'm gonna have that for lunch today. And then I'm kind of feeling like a little throw up -y or something. I don't really know what's going on. I grabbed a lemon lime olipop to drink. So hopefully maybe that'll help like settle my stomach. I don't know. And then I grabbed the eggs for our dinner. And let me see what the last couple things are. Oh, we were out of pimple patches, so I grabbed that. I also got a little travel toothpaste because we don't have any travel toothpaste. We always just take our normal, like, big one, but it takes up a lot of room. So I went ahead and grabbed a tiny one. I grabbed a plum. It's called Hurry Plum Nail Polish to paint my toenails with. And oh my gosh, nail polish is so expensive. This was the cheapest one at my Target and it was $5.99. The most expensive one was like $15 for freaking nail polish. Like that's absurd. And then I just grabbed two liquid death waters for Cody and I. Go home and eat some lunch. I need to edit some videos. So I have some videos to go up while we're gone. And I have also just been in like the biggest reading slump ever. I read The Silent Patient at the beginning of this month, November, and it seriously put me in such a bad slump. I It took me like two weeks to finish the book. And since I finished it probably like a week ago now, I haven't been able to read anything else. So I'm really annoyed with that. It puts me in a bad mood when I'm not able to like read. I don't know. Anytime I like sit down and I'm like, I'm going to read, I just like sit on my phone or I don't know. I think that book was just so slow. I I don't know. Who knows, but I did, I have a bunch of books downloaded on my Kindle to read during our trip this week. And I've got all of the, so I read the first in the Chestnut Spring series, but I have the rest of that downloaded on there. And I also have Divine Rivals on there as well. And I've heard such good things about that book. So I think I'm gonna try reading that first and maybe it'll like get me into the mood for reading. And then on my trip, keep reading the Chestnut Spring series. I don't know, I guess we'll see what I'm feeling, but I do have a bunch of books downloaded on my Kindle, so. That's what my plan is. Alrighty, I think it's time to head back home. There are like so many cars out, so many people out. I forget Thanksgiving's in two days. So everyone's like running around like a chicken with their head cut off. So I wanna get home, get out of the craziness. I forgot to turn on the lights for the Christmas tree this morning. So let's do that. I've got it strung all up here and then our cute tree. I love it cute little apartment tree and then we didn't want to hang these up because there's not much room above our tv and we don't have any holes already above our couch we're only going to be here a couple more months and i didn't want to put any more holes in the wall so we just hung them on the bar chairs <laughs> guys i'm telling you this is one of the best like frozen meals ever you just peel that back 
and then you have to dump all of the rice and the beans and stuff and the veggies into the sauce. And then you just mix it together. It's so good.